This right here is your iliacus muscle. And this is a muscle that many of us have tight in our body and we have no idea. Very few people that have tight iliacus even know that they even have an iliacus, let alone that it's tight. So I'm gonna go over the top five ways that you can figure out whether or not you have a tight iliacus. Now, the best way to tell whether you have a tight iliacus is to have a practitioner assess you. And there's some great tests like the supine to sit test, which I do have some videos about, um, that is really ideal for telling whether or not you have a rotated pelvis, which is involving your iliacus muscle. But if you're at home and you're trying to figure this out on your own, it's kind of hard to do that test on your own. So I'm gonna teach you a few things that you can do. When your iliacus muscle is holding tension at rest, it will pull your pelvic bone forward. So imagine if this was tight, it would pull your pelvic bone forward. What that does when the pelvic bone is rotated forward is it changes the way that the, the hip um, ball, of the, the ball of the hip fits into the socket, which means it's gonna change the way that your femur bone, your leg bone really um, aligns. So the first thing to assess when you're trying to figure out whether you have a tight iliacus is your standing posture. So if you look at your standing posture, I'm just gonna pull up my pant leg here so you can see my leg a little bit. When your pelvis is rotated forward and you have a tight iliacus, your leg bone will rotate inward. So it'll be rotating in like this which will make your knee point more towards the inside of your body. If you compare it to this side here, if this side was rotated and this side was had a tight iliacus, it would rotate in, my femur would rotate in. It would also make this leg hyperextend or go back further than this one. And I'm exaggerating a bit here, but just for, for illustration purposes, it would make this bone rotate in as well it would make your arch flatten and it would make your toe kind of go towards like a bunion or go it's called valgus meaning going in this direction so if you notice that one side is doing that more than the other it's likely that that side has a tight iliacus the second way that you can test whether or not you have a tight iliacus or tension in your iliacus is by touching it so if you lie down on your back and you put your fingers right on the bone that sticks out in the front of your pelvis, it's called your ASIS, and you move your finger right towards the inside and you touch that spot, if it feels tender at all, then it's probably tight. That's where your iliacus lives. Happy muscles don't hurt, so if you're feeling tension there, it's likely tight. The third way that you can figure out whether or not you have a tight iliacus is your posture when you're lying down. So if you lay down flat and just relax and just let your legs kind of flop out, you know, not holding and hold, trying to hold them in any position, you'll notice one leg might be rotated out more. So in this example, my right leg is rotated out more. My toe is pointing out towards the side more. This side will have a tighter iliacus than this side. The side that rotates out will be tighter. And the reason this is, is because <clears throat> the iliacus is actually an external rotator. When there's tension here, it pulls, attaches right here at the inside of the, the femur, and it will pull the leg outward when you're resting because all your muscles are supposed to relax when you're at rest, but if there's still tension in that muscle while you're at rest, it's gonna pull the leg outward. Similarly, when there's tension in this muscle, it will also cause tension in the back of the hip, and these are also external rotators of the hip. So the combination of this muscle pulling you out and these ones pulling you out will make that leg kind of flop out when you're at rest. The fourth reason, the fourth way that you can test whether or not you have a tight iliacus is to see if you're getting any pinching in your hip. If your iliacus is tight, let's say on this right side, it's going to rotate that pelvis forward and anterior rotation, which means that if I go to bring my knee up to my chest and I try to pull it all the way up and it pinches in the front of my hip, it's likely that that is the side that has a tight iliacus. Again, because it's rotating you forward, it's taking away some of your range of motion and you end up getting a pinch at the end. Now, if you work on releasing that tension, 
and getting your pelvis aligned, that pinch will diminish or become lesser. The fifth and last reason to, to figure out whether or not you have a tight iliac is, is whether you have a hip pop. So um, certain exercises like taking your legs straight up and then lowering it down to the ground, or even if you have both legs up and you lower one down to the ground and you get a big clunk in, in one of your hips, that is a sign that you have tension in your iliacus. And it's, again, that tension is pulling on the hip joint itself, changing the alignment of how the ball fits into the socket and you get a big clunk in your hip joint as a result. So by releasing that tension and you retest yourself with that, that leg lower, you likely won't get as much of a, of a clunk. So you can use these reasons or these five tips to try to figure out whether or not you have tension in your iliacus. Ultimately, if you have unresolved pain somewhere, you know, in, in your leg, hip, foot, um, there's likely an alignment issue. And because so many people have tension in their iliacus muscle from sitting too much, from being overly flexible or for using that muscle a little too much, um, it's definitely something that you want to check out and see whether or not it's contributing to your particular situation.